This is part three of how to create an ultra advanced listing on eBay. That means a listing that sells. That's not like a listing that almost all eBayers create. This is a listing like eBay wants us to create and that eBay will reward us with high search engine results. Now you might recall I did the pictures last time. In number one, I showed you how to start all listings. You want to find one similar to the item that you're selling. In our case, it's a Longa Burger wooden basket that is a tissue box. So I created a I created a new listing. I did a sell similar from another Longa Burger basket that I've sold in the past. That helps me with all sorts of item specifics filled in and things like that. It already has my store category of Longa Burger selected. I sell so much Longa Burger, I actually have a store category that in my eBay store. And it's in the correct category, baskets and collectible decorative baskets. Everything's great. My, our pictures are done. I showed you how to do the pictures the correct way in the last video, number two of the series. I think the series will have five, maybe six, but I think it'll have five fairly short 20, under 20 minutes each one. Now, we need to work on the title. On your title, you want the following pattern. You want the brand, you want what it is, you want a model number. Now, not everything has a model number. Not everything has a brand, but most things do. Most things that sell more easily on eBay have a brand. The brand comes first in almost every case. In this case, Longenberger baskets, you put the brand Longenberger first, then it's a basket. However, this is a tissue basket. Now, a couple of things. There is no tie-on. That's a little side eye dangle ornament that hangs down. This basket doesn't have one. The one that I listed from had one. So that's going to give me a little room by deleting that. And I'm going to go over here and add the word tissue. Notice I'm following my own rule and eBay's rule. Brand and then what is it? The brand is Longenberger and it's a tissue basket. You may or may not remember from the pictures that the bottom of Longenberger baskets always show the date it was made by the initials of the person who made who wove the basket, the weaver. So this is a 1996 basket and I'm going to put the date. People, collectors of these baskets love to know the date. Now, it's not a horizon of hope. It's a tissue basket. There's not much more I can say about that. It's called a tissue basket in Longenberger parlance. I just know that because I've sold so many of these. Now, there is, okay, so I need to know, I want to put the height. Once you put the brand, what is it, and then a little bit about the item that's the most important, the year, and in this case, we need to have the height of this item. We know already it's 6.5 inches, the height of the basket, 6.5. It's a little bit, bit misleading because with the lid, the wooden lid, it adds up to about 7 inches. I'm just going to say 6.5, and I'm going to remember in my description to tell them. But with the lid, it adds another half inch or so. There is a plastic protector. This is not called a plastic liner. It's called a plastic protector. What if you sell a Longenberger basket and you incorrectly call this a plastic liner? No one is going to fault you for it. No collector is going to say, I refuse to buy from her because she called this plastic protector a liner. It's no big deal. It's kind of like Tupperware. Tupperware lids are called seals. The collectors of Tupperware really want them to be called seals and not lids. But if you call them a lid, no one really cares. It's just, it's just their own little parlance, their own little calling of what they want. So, but it's always best to know the lingo. The more you know about your item, the better, because you can talk to people who appreciate the item you're trying to sell. When I say plastic protector, you're going to think, he knows what he's talking about. Floral, cloth. Now, I'm going to get rid of vintage. I don't like the word vintage. I don't think you need it very much at all. If you have it, you should probably put it at the very end because these first few words in a title are far more important than the last few words. First few words, far more important. First of all, on a lot of cell phone searches, only the first few words appear in a search. These are never seen in a search, these last few words. That's why all of your key important words need to come first. Remember, brand, what is it, and then a few characteristics about the item. Floral, cloth, liner. Now, this is a cloth liner. This is a plastic protector, a cloth liner. It's a floral cloth liner. If I have room to put the word green, I'm going to do that. And I do green floral cloth liner, and I have 78 characters. I don't know if I can get two more characters, because by the time I press a space, I've only got room for one more character. So I probably can't do much. I, I like to fill up all 80 if possible. 
But if I can, I'm going to come as close as possible. Certainly not going to miss the word vintage. I think green and I think floral, I think cloth liner is much more important than the word vintage, even though this is truly vintage. When something is a, when is something vintage? Only when it's 20 years old or older. It's currently April of 2024 as I record this. Everything is vintage made be, before April of 2020. I'm sorry. Everything vintage, everything is vintage today that was made before April of 2004. Got that? Anything 20 years or older. So this is April 2024. Anything made before April 2004 is considered vintage. Nothing newer than that. I can't call something made in 2010 vintage. It's wrong. Don't do that. You're going to lose credibility of people that know. Don't call anything antique unless it's 100 years or older. Don't call anything antique unless it's 100 years or older. No exceptions. There are no exceptions to that. Okay, this is a very good title. Let's look at some of eBay's title preferences. This is from a little seminar that eBay put on uh, a few years ago. And they're showing you, eBay is telling us title structures they want us to use. Apparel or clothing, consumable products. Okay, we'll go down this, but let's look at the thing. Brand, brand, brand. I told you brand comes first. eBay says that. I don't say that. eBay says that. eBay wants the brand first. Okay, what about on books? The brand is like McGraw-Hill. Well, you don't want to put McGraw-Hill first on a book. That's, a, that's literally the brand. It's who made it. But that's not what books are known for. Sony PlayStation, Sony is known. Sony, you know, Sony Stereo System, that's an important brand, okay? McGraw-Hill is, even though to McGraw-Hill, they're important. Matter of fact, they were the first publisher who ever published my books. I've written about 150 books. 85 or so were, made, were published by all the major publishers. The very first five books were published by McGraw-Hill. So McGraw-Hill is an important publisher to me and my history. I would never put McGraw-Hill first as a title. In, in my title, I wouldn't even put it last. It is so meaningless to an item such as a book as to who publishes it. And there's an item specific that we'll get to, and I'll show you, that you have the... All books have a place that you can say who the publisher is and the item specific. So the brand, brand, brand must come first. It's always important unless it's an item that the brand shouldn't come first. Now I'll tell you another thing. Maybe a pro basketball jersey. What brand would that be? You know, Nike? It's pretty important to put Nike first. It's a very important brand in clothing, in sports apparel. But maybe the player is really the brand that people look for first. People want a Michael Jordan jersey, game-worn jersey. And so, whether it's made by Nike or not, Michael Jordan is more important than who made that game-worn jersey, a jersey worn by Michael during a game. So, use your judgment. Always, always assume eBay's correct, and you should put the brand, except when you obviously shouldn't put the brand, and don't worry about it. What if it's a little trinket box and there's no brand? It's a cute little Bichon Frise puppy and he has a cute black nose and little black eyes and it raises up, his head raises up and it's a little trinket box and there's no brand. It's not a Limoges or any other trinket box. That's fine. Just put maybe puppy dog or Bichon Frise, puppy dog, trinket box, ceramic, three inches. You don't have a brand. That's okay. The dog, the dog breed is a brand in that case. So always use the brand unless it's obvious the brand either doesn't exist or isn't at all as important as something like a player's name or a team name. It may not have a player's name on the back of a jersey or on a football helmet, game-worn football helmet, but it's got the team name, Miami Dolphins. Put that first. I don't care if Nike made that helmet. Well, Nike wouldn't have made those helmets, but I don't care who made the helmet. Put Miami Dolphins first. That's far more important of a brand in that case. So apparel, clothing, and so on. A brand, gender, so if you had, you know, a, a lady's top, it would be, it'd be, it'd be like Coldwater Creek Women's or, yeah, Coldwater Creek Women's. Don't put an apostrophe. I'm going to talk about that last. And then shirt, top, blouse, short sleeve, then all of the characteristics, you know, the color and all of that. So this is a nice, although in general, it's brand, major, and brand, and what the item is, unless it's clothing, and then you want to put the gender, and that same would be for shoes as well, you know, Michael Kors purse, you don't really have to put a gender there, but Nike 
shoes, Nike men's shoes, okay? So in that case, the gender is important. Electronics brand, attribute, product type, and model number. They're saying put the model number last. I would have put it earlier. eBay says they want the model number towards the end. Okay, I guess that people looking for these, I don't know if you know anything about Samsung large televisions, flat screen TVs, but their model numbers are like a mile long. And so eBay's just going, eh, most people aren't going to type this. eBay's pretty smart. eBay knows that most people are going to type the brand and then what it is. Smart TV, 80, you know, 88 inch smart TV. That's what people are going to want on a television. And the comes last because no one has these Samsung TV brands in mind. Very rarely would someone even know that. So use this, reference this, bookmark this page or this part of the video. You might want to come back to it sometime or take a screenshot and print it out. This is the general way that you do a title. We're going to, uh, we're going to end with one last thing. Never, never, ever, 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 ever have special characters in a title unless they have to be there. Why did I put the inch mark there? It's because I need to show its inches. I don't actually like putting an inch mark there. I actually prefer this because eBay says we don't want, well, no, I actually prefer this. eBay wants every character to have an uppercase letter followed by lowercase. Do you feel the need to ever put all caps to really emphasize something? Don't. eBay says don't do that. eBay doesn't like it. Google Shopping doesn't like it. Your item will be pushed down a little bit in the search engine. Every time you do something like that, don't do it. eBay says we don't want any special characters in the title unless they have to be there. So what if you're selling, okay, I'll put the, I'm going to get rid of this for now. What if I'm selling bags of M&M candy? It's going to be M upon M ampersand M apostrophe S. That's the way M&Ms are always written. You have to have two special characters in four characters. You 50% of the brand is a special character. eBay would fully agree and so would Google Shopping. You got to have a special character here. So the the rule is never ever 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 have a special character unless you obviously have to have one. Okay? So this was I forget what I Okay. So put the, put back 6.5 in. I actually prefer inches, but I don't know. It's getting messy. We're now at our 80 character mark, which I like being. But to be honest with you, when you're doing measurements, it does seem as though an inch mark is just better. It seems that eBay doesn't care either way. eBay will allow the inch mark, or if you type IN or inch, eBay seems to respect whatever. And just putting an inch mark seems to be just more standard People are aware of it. Searches generally use the inch mark, and so why not? Now, the problem with this measurement is with that, with that lid, this basket's actually 7 inches tall, but I show a measurement without the lid. I show it 6.5. They're getting a general idea that this isn't one of the very small Longerberger baskets, and it's not one of the very big Longerberger baskets, so I think 6.5 inches is important to show them basically what they're getting. I'm describing plastic protector because collectors want those. A floral a cloth liner, people want those. I'm describing it. And any collector that's looking for a green Longaberger basket with a green liner of some kind, my search is going to come up. This is how you do titles. No uppercase, no special characters, unless they're needed. Let me do one more thing. Look, oh, can't even type. Don't do stuff like this. You see that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do any of that silly looking stuff. Now, I kind of have a problem with this. It's kind of hard to see. I think this is the proper order. The year is very important to collectors and the size of the basket is very important, but I don't like the numbers together like this. I think to the human eye looking at these titles, that kind of runs together and doesn't tell good information. I think that I would rather maybe move the height over to here, just somewhere other than right next to, especially since this starts with six, and the year ends with a six, I don't really like those two together. And that's about the best I can do for this title. It would be very difficult to have a better title for this Longa Burger tissue basket. No all uppercase letter, no special characters except where it's really needed, no extraneous look at this, great deal. Why wouldn't you put the word look to get someone's attention? The only purpose of a title is to be found in the search engine. No one is going to type Longa Burger tissue basket look. Nobody, no buyer is ever going to type that. So you don't want the word look in your title. It hurts you. It drops you down in the search. You will not be helped by something like that. Don't fall for it. And 
Don't fall for that. Don't just add a bang. Don't, they call that bang, a post exclamation point. Don't just add, a, in computer terms, we call that a bang. But don't just add a bunch of exclamation points. Don't do that. No one is looking for Lungenberger tissue basket exclamation point. Nobody in the history of the world has ever looked for that on eBay. So don't add that. The only purpose of your title is not to be read by your buyer, but to be found by eBay search engine when your buyer searches for something similar to what you're selling. Now, the reason I move this number around is once my buyer looks at my title, I don't want weird things in the title that might throw the buyer a little bit. It doesn't really help the search. So whenever I moved, let me move the 6.5 back temporarily. I had it like this to begin with, and that just kind of is hard to read as the buyer's eyes are glancing over the title. It doesn't matter. The buyer's going to look at my listing. They're going to love my picture. It's 3D. It's the only one in the whole list that's 3D. It looks nice. Nice picture. It's framed well. It's consumed the whole square, all of that, colors are nice, white background, they are going to want to click on my item and read more, but the title is not going to be something that converts them in any way, but that number just sort of throws us off, and I just have sort of a little glitch about wanting to have something that just doesn't look right when a human is reading it. So again, I'm going to move that 6.5 down to, I'll move it after the green, and I'll move it before the green, to there. Now, if my, my buyer won't be kind of thrown temporary, very briefly by the numbers together like that, and that's the way you do a title. Next, we're going to talk about the all-important item specifics in part three, four, I don't know, but the next part.